talk about this is Mary Catherine Ham, senior writer for The Federalist and CNN political commentator, and Sally Cohn, a CNN political commentator, Daily Beast columnist, and Hillary Clinton supporter. Welcome to you both. Thanks, so, Carol. Sally, you could argue Donald Trump has called his male opponent low energy, too. Remember low energy Jeb? I mean, yeah, it's... Look, <laughs> there's, there's two layers here, right? Donald Trump insults everyone, right? He insults the male Mexicans and the female Mexicans. He insults the male Muslims and the female Muslims. So on some he insults level, white guys Donald, too. Right, you know, on some level, Donald Trump is a uh, uh, all-purpose blankety-blank. I can't say what I want to say on... But, um, but there is also, at that level, there's also a, a gendered particularity to it. So he can be a sort of a general jerk, and then within that, there can be particular sexist sort of versions thereof when he says Carly Fiorina doesn't look presidential or Hillary Hillary Clinton doesn't look presidential, right? When he says that she doesn't have the stamina, not just low energy, right? It's a larger, like, stamina. She's not quite made for the job in the way that he is. We, women all know what that means, and frankly, in this day and age, most men can hear that, too. <laughs> but, but Mary Catherine, do you think that Hillary Clinton will really have to deal with that sort of thing, you know, if she becomes president for, for her full term? Well, first of all, what a pair, Samantha B and President Obama. <laughs> Obama. One is an unfunny liberal ideologue boosting the base with lame dad jokes, and the other is the president. So, <laughs> look, I think, <laughs> I think this, this segment on the show probably did what they wanted it to do, which is reach the right audience and reach women with this message. Uh, and I think that Sally's right, that Donald Trump can insult everyone and also have this particular issue with women, which I think he does. Uh, will she face questions in her presidency? Yes. Will some, some of it be sexist? Will sexism disappear? No. But here's the thing, when he talks about, when the president talks about her having something to hide, uh, that doesn't just come from sexism. That comes from things like the email scandal. When you look at the numbers for her trustworthiness and six and ten, six or seven and ten voters saying they, they don't find her trustworthy uh, on the honesty scale and almost as bad as Donald Trump, sometimes worse than Donald Trump in some of these polls, that comes from somewhere. And a lot of those people are women. It's, it's not just sexism. That's Mary Catherine is right. A lot of women don't like Hillary Clinton, but yeah. President, o on the other hand, President Obama did go there. He said because Hillary Clinton's an ambitious woman, that added to her untrustworthiness. And I, like Mary Catherine, can hear a lot of women saying, "Really?" Right. I mean, uh, you know, listen. I, 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 unfortunately, nuance uh, is dead uh, in this election by and large. So it's really hard to have nuanced conversations about these. But it is actually possible for both things to be true at the same time. That. Uh, sexism plays a role in how we view a candidate like Hillary Clinton and at times sexism has nothing to do with how we view a candidate like Hillary Clinton for instance the fact that the media has uh, for up until fairly recently gave Donald Trump a wild free pass didn't go after him remotely and hammered Hillary Clinton over the emails every single chance it got so that now here we are again talking about the emails instead of oh I don't know Trump dodging a hundred million dollars in taxes that repeatedly combined with the 30 years of Hillary Clinton being attacked over and over and over again, also contributes, whether it's sexism or not, right? We, we I think, Mary can walk Catherine? and chew gum at the same time. Well, I, I feel like we're talking about all of those things, and I also feel like the Clintons, including Hillary Clinton, have been attacked over many years because they've done many shady things, and then they've tried to cover them up, and then they've gotten themselves in trouble doing that, which is ex exactly the story of the emails, and you see the truth of this and exactly what people think about her coming out in the WikiLeaks Podesta emails and in the FBI investigation, and voters have a gut feeling about her that is not wrong. It comes from things she has done, not from just who she is. We will make America great again.